everyone, Live It Like Lisa here and in today's video I'll be showing you how I decorate these composition books and make them look a little bit prettier so that I can use them as some journal book for 2019. So I have three of them here and I bought these from Officeworks. They're actually just a little bit bigger than a regular exercise book and I like the fact that they're a hardcover book as well. So yeah, we're basically just going to cover these and make them look a little bit prettier than they are. So I'm just using some regular scrapbooking paper and we're going to be using uh, two coordinating colours of paper. One we're going to use to cover the spine of the book and the other one we're going to use to cover the front and back of the book. And the pages I'm using is from this fairy tale flora scrapbooking pad that I picked up from Spotlight. So what I'm doing here is I'm cutting the paper in half and we're going to use half of this paper on the front of the book and half of the paper on the back of the book. So once you've got your half of your paper cut out, I'm using a glue stick and some double sided tape to stick the scrapbooking paper onto the book. So line up your sheet, making sure you've got it right to the edge and press it down firmly. Once it's stuck down, I then like to go in with some scissors and trim the excess off and repeat this step for the back cover. So once both sides have been covered, front and back, we're now going to adhere the spine of the book. And I'm just using a coordinating paper pattern here, trimming it to size, and I'm adhering this to the spine of the book using the same glue stick and double-sided tape. So our next step is to ink the edges of the page all the way around. So next I'm just trimming off another strip from this page and I'm just going to cover up the join where the spine meets the paper and using double sided tape to stick that down. And again I repeat this step on the back cover as well using a different strip of paper. To decorate the front I'm just using some journaling cards from the same paper pack and using a couple of coordinating papers from the back of it, just creating a little design on the front. And that's basically it. So here are the other journals that I have created. This one is um, a journal prompt book and inside it I've just printed off some journal prompts that I found on Pinterest. If you just type in journal prompts on Pinterest, you'll get hundreds and hundreds show up. So I've just printed off a few. I just have them sitting inside my journal so that when I do go to do a bit of journaling, I have a couple of prompts there that I can use. And that's my journaling one. The questions one, again, I've just created this one for questions and inside that there is a whole year's worth of questions. So it's basically asking you one question a day that you answer and yeah, you can basically just write your answers in the journal. That's that one. And then my list one, which is the one you saw me create, I actually just changed the title. I didn't like it on a diagonal and I preferred it just straight. So my list one, again, you get the prompts from Pinterest and this one's basically asking you to make a list. So basically saying like, what are your five favorite, I don't know, ice cream flavors or um, what are your five favorite books, um, your lust list, list the jobs, list all the jobs you've held. So this one's basically just answering the questions, but just in a list form your five favorite charities. And again, you can find all of these on the internet. Um, if, you, if you go on Pinterest and type journal prompts or list prompts, they'll all be there. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. It was just a quick one, just to show you how I've decorated some plain composition books so that I can use them as my journals for next year. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.